Staying in Honduras, impunity has only grown in the Central American nation since the coup d'etat which overthrew the democratically elected Manuel Zelaya in 2009. For more on the state of the justice system there, we go to Gerardo Torres. From 2010 to 2013, Honduras saw over 27,000 homicides, but only 1,009 court convictions, meaning a 96% impunity rate. This comes from one of the many reports that the Inter-American Human Rights Court has released this week in Honduras. Reports like this show a level of impunity greater than 90 percent, and this is information backed up by the OAS and the United Nations. They highlight that the institutions responding to impunity, or in this case not at all, as well as the system of justice, need to do something. Also, the Inter-American Commission makes it clear that it is not only human rights that have huge problems, but it should be remembered that the impunity in human rights cases is around 98 to 99 percent. During the visit of the Inter-American Court, the Honduran government was trying to hide the fact that its human rights record is one of the worst on the continent. But for Berto Oliva, of the Committee of Families of Detained and Disappeared, an organization fighting for 32 years to clarify the role of the military in dead squads since the 1980s, impunity is becoming a worse and worse problem. This is the monster that we have. In Honduras, this means those who have gone unpunished in the past are the ones who are talking of fighting against impunity today. They are responsible for impunity in the past and in the present. They are saying we should fight impunity, that it is immoral, that it shouldn't have been allowed because it will ruin us as citizens. In Honduras, there is almost a complete lack of proper criminal investigations, and organized crime has penetrated the military, police force, as well as the judicial system exacerbating the problem of impunity. But many hope that this week's report by the Inter-American Court can at least shed some light onto this problem. Gerardo Torres, Telesur, Central America.